Booster 15's gentle splashdown, SpaceX Flight 11 just gave us one of the most fascinating moments yet. While Ship 38 streaked through re-entry, Booster 15 didn't explode like previous flights. Instead, it made a gentle splashdown in the Gulf of America, controlled, vertical, and precise. Could this have been a quiet rehearsal for Flight 12's booster catch? Booster 15, a reused Block 2 Super Heavy, performed a flawless ascent and stage separation. After separating from Starship, it executed a boost back burn, a re-entry burn, and a final landing burn. Unlike earlier boosters, it remained vertical and stable, hovering briefly before touching the water softly. This wasn't just a regular splashdown. The controlled engine throttling and grid fin adjustments look exactly like what would be needed for a tower catch. SpaceX confirmed the flight gathered data on engine control, stability, and structural stress during near hover conditions, all key for future Mechazilla operations. If you compare this to older boosters, the difference is dramatic. Earlier flights often ended in explosions or tumbling descents. Booster 15 showed precision control, hinting that SpaceX is preparing for Flight 12's ambitious goal, catching a booster mid-air using the Mechazilla arms. While Flight 11 didn't attempt to catch, this gentle splashdown gave engineers real-world data to refine throttle control, hover timing, and grid fin performance, the exact pieces needed to align a 70-meter booster with the tower. So was this splashdown just a routine test or a secret rehearsal for Flight 12? Either way, Booster 15 proves SpaceX is getting closer to mastering fully reusable rockets, Flight 12 might just blow our minds. Wow. <laughs> that will never get old.